Hello and welcome to another vlog. My name is Kian. I am a first year medical student and I am trying to figure out what the heck I'm doing. So if you're curious to see what another week in medical school looks like, keep on watching. Good morning. Today is Monday. It's the start of another week. This week we're focusing on infectious disease with sort of the theme of pneumonia. So keep on watching and I will take you with me. Hello, so I am back, survived my Monday at school. The morning was lectures on infectious disease, which made absolutely no sense because I don't know my bacteria and viruses very well. And I also don't know my antibiotics very well. So it's just like a bunch of words where I was like, what is going on? And then I'm trying to get a study group started. I don't know if anyone is going to show up. Our sort of game plan is to each take a week. So one person takes a week and then they kind of facilitate a study group session and provide like summary sheets of important sort of objectives from the week. And then what I'm also doing is compiling like a bunch of sample test questions. I've grabbed them from the USMLE first aid book Khan Academy, and then I made some up myself from the lecture notes. Um, yeah, so we'll see how that goes. I will update you tomorrow if anybody comes or if anybody finds it useful. Don't really know. Hmm, nothing like crawling into bed to watch a lecture. Okay, so I'm going to change your life here because this changed my life and I'm so happy that someone told me about this, so I'm going to share it with you. So, say you are reading about pneumonia, and you want to find it everywhere where it mentions lungs. You go, and, and then a search bar pops up, and you go, lungs, you press enter, and it highlights all the places where it says lungs, and to scroll through, you just keep hitting the enter. But that's not the life-changing part. The life-changing part is that you can do this on your iPad and your phone. So we've got the same article here, pneumonia on Wikipedia. If you go to the search bar and you type lung, and then you go to the bottom, there's this thing that says on this page, lung, 56 matches, and there you go. Boom! Lung is highlighted, and then you can scroll through all the places where it says lung. I think that's super exciting. Hopefully it helps you. I found it like life-changing for open book exams because you can just like search for a keyword in a giant document and find it. Anyways, share it with your friends. What do these words even mean? Excuse me? So I just finished doing up these sort of notes and reviewing the lecture on lower respiratory infections. It was all good in the hood. We're like, oh, these are the types of bacteria that can cause it. These are conditions that can make you more susceptible. These are the different types of pneumonia. This is how you diagnose it. These are the possible sort of tests that you can run. Then we hit antibiotic therapy and I was like, this is a lot of words that I have never heard in my life before. So that's gonna be rough. Anyways, I think I deserve a study break. So I'm gonna go make a snack. So I joined a rowing team as like a fun thing and we're racing this Saturday and we have to do like a Canadian themed costume. So we thought we were going to dress up in like scrubs with plaid like jackets over top and then wear moose antlers. So we're like having this big discussion on where the heck to find moose antlers and then someone from our group very generously went out, found some antlers, sent us photos, but they don't really look like antlers. They kind of look like bunny ears. <laughs> That's what they look like. And then another person made a point that like, maybe we should go for the more expensive antlers that actually look like antlers, so that if we reuse them for Halloween, <laughs> we actually look like a moose. And I proceeded to waste half an hour 
making this meme. I'm a moose, duh. Anyways, I hope you've seen Mean Girls, or else that will make no sense. I don't think anybody got my joke. I, like, replied in quotes, I'm a moose, duh. And only one person was like, ha ha. Everyone else was just like, what's going on? We need, like, antlers. So, maybe it was the wrong crowd. <laughs> this afternoon's seminar is on physical activity. That reminds me that I can't actually remember the last time I exercised. <sighs> Running late as per usual. Oh my god. So it turns out the seminar starts at 1.30 instead of 1. Well, I'm just hanging out in the corner waiting for the seminar to start. Study group was a success, woo! Ah, that feels good. I was a little stressed because I originally messaged my like small group, we do a bunch of stuff together, being like, hey, do you guys wanna do a study group? And, like one or two people replied being like, oh yeah, maybe like if I'm free. But turns out everybody came, everybody thought it was a good idea, everybody is gonna be on board and participating, and everybody complimented me on my summary sheets, so. Alrighty, heading out to choir now. I will check in later. We're gonna sing um, The Sound of Silence today. If you haven't heard that song before, it gives me goosebumps. It's so good. In restless dreams I walked alone Narrow streets of cobblestone Neath the halo of a street Finish the CBL questions that I totally forgot about until last night slash this morning. So this is what it looks like outside. So I wore a turtleneck wool dress, thinking it would be warm enough, but I'm freezing! This is like the best part about living so close to school. You can like make yourself a gourmet lunch every day because we have an hour for lunch and it's like a three minute walk. I love this life. So here's the thing. Our lectures are usually like 50 minutes, but people normally go over time so it ends up being about an hour. Today we're doing a lecture on like gas exchange in the lungs and there's like all these equations and weird like flow diagrams and things. And I'm not even exaggerating. Lecture starts at 11. It's supposed to go to 11.50. 11.20 hits. And the guy's like, well, as usual, I spoke too fast and we are done. There were so many questions after. I was like, why don't you just like take the extra 30 minutes and like slow down and explain things in a bit more detail. Anyways, means an extra long lunch for me. So I'm not that mad about it. I just thought it was pretty funny. Oh my god, it's my bed. Oh, my sweet bed. So we had a case study lecture today, and all these peeps are like asking questions about why you would administer certain drugs for certain things, and why you wouldn't do other ones. So people would be like, why are we not continuing vancomycin? If someone's in the ICU and are concerned about MRSA, even though we've concluded that the bacteria is Pseudomonas. And I'm like, what is vancomycin? What is MRSA? What is Pseudomonas? Ah! So I should probably be studying tonight, but instead I'm going to a CARMS and ob information night.
I think it is time for a break. So I am going to clean up my room and we have some like, not Christmas lights, well probably Christmas lights, just like lights in general that I kind of want to string around my room. So I'm going to do that now because huh, I just need to stop sitting at a desk. So there's a little mini makeover. I'm um, not sure if this looks super tacky or super cute. It is time to head to the hospital for patient interviews. That's the outfit of choice for today. I actually didn't have enough dress clothes. <laughs> I was like, mom, I need more dress clothes. So she bought me like a whole bunch of new outfits, which was so nice. Ah, and now I have more business casual stuff to wear. So I just finished patient interviews. They were very interesting. A lot of curveballs. Anyways, it was a really good learning experience. What? What is this? I don't know what this is. So I'm just about ready to head out for the afternoon. I'm going to be learning how to give immunization shots today. Kind of scary, but also super exciting. So yeah, fun afternoon ahead. Anyways, I was kind of thinking I wanted to switch up the video content for next week. Um, I was thinking of doing like a video on how I take notes using my iPad and pencil because I have been loving the iPad pencil so much lately. So make sure you're subscribed to this channel so you don't miss that video. Um, yeah, so we'll see and then hopefully the vlogs will be back next week or the week after. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing week and I'll see you in the next video.